Okay, so we are back guys and um, yeah, we are continuing with match number four, I believe. Uh, we will update in just a moment uh, the title, but uh, yes, we, we, we had a, a up and down game now, mm -hmm. uh, previously a crazy game, uh, most likely would have ended in a draw, but uh, Craig Blunted pushed too hard at the end, so Johannes picked up his first point. So, um, Abusela is on one point, Craig is on one point, uh, Watt is on one point, and uh, we're just waiting for Paul now to join us as well. But uh, yeah, so this is these guys' second game of, the, of the, the group stage. Everybody only plays, all of us only play three games, so a crucial one for both sides. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's just get the random position going. Paul has got the white pieces, watt has got the black pieces. I'm going to click three times again. One, two, three, and there we have it. Uh, anything else? I, players, are you happy? Are you ready? Okay, so just mute your computer so that you don't hear us. And then what do you, uh, uh, sorry, Paul, you can start whenever you are ready. Good luck. Okay, so let's update the title as well, by the way. I actually forgot the previous game, but okay, it's not a big big one over there. Let's say match four. What do you see for on the board? English. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And um Dragon Bishops both on the same color. On B1 and C1. Queen is on G1, so I think the players need to figure out again how to get the queens out. I would think of E5, Knight G6, Queen F1 possibilities. And I don't like to. D5, e knight G6, and queen F8. G6. Ah, okay. Maybe that. Okay. But, uh, okay, we've seen in the past that uh, it's very important to develop the... to find a way to get the queen mm. into the game. So, um... Place E5. Uh, we will probably go for that c6 setup, maybe dragon bishop f6, even knight e6, queen f8, queen e7. You see? Yeah. That's speculation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you know you, you know, that other bishop is also out. Knight yeah, g6. it goes there. And even f5 is a possibility. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to play the screen F8 in that, so F5 is nice actually. I think it will go for it. Yeah, and Paul developing his dragon bishops immediately. I mean, D3 does seem a bit, uh, maybe a bit slow here with the white pieces. Usually we like to expand in the center. Mm -hmm. yeah, F5 will come out. Yeah, F5 looks good. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. Holding up a bit scary, his name says, so are we seriously not going to call the Knights Dragon Slayers? Mm -hmm. um, it's possible, huh? It's possible. <laughs> Let's first see what the Knights do on the game, on the board. Okay, so what are you developing first? I mean, F5 is there. Mm-hmm. Very nice actually. Mm -hmm. It's probably gonna go dragon c6, dragon d7 maybe, or possibilities. Or dragon e6 also, and then mm -hmm. that's also possible. Is it, I don't know. I, I would probably yeah, especially okay, Paul goes back, he was thinking knight d3. If knight d3, then something like pawn to c6 also just covering a lot of squares. Mm. Should be an idea. 
But yeah, I think Water selected a nice setup. Yeah, F5, mm. Queen F7, Castle. Yeah. And even like Dragon E6, huh? Mm -hmm. Dragon D7. I'm gonna be brave. Long castle? I don't think so. Not necessary. Not necessary, <laughs> yeah. Not necessary. White is already awkward. This position is already awkward. Oh. I think you're probably gonna go. Kingside castle, C6 maybe. Dragon bishop. B6 also possible at the mm -hmm. F5 and just Kingside Castle. Simple. Yeah. And Paul playing very um very uh solid and, and passive I would say for for the white pieces. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe he has some idea, but it's clear that black has more space. But okay, maybe Paul's strategy is just to get into the game here solidly. Get used mm -hmm. to get used to everything. Want to a5 played one to playing on both sides what the idea just to slow down anything on the queen side or what maybe um just in case white wanna go queen side maybe or maybe even <laughs> knight c6 and knight b4 sometimes mm. for setting up a scavenigan type structure yeah Okay, then knight c6 comes. Uh, there's your move. Okay, a3. A3 most likely. At least it's his own. And then what? I feel like what is very much obliged to play f5. What only, else? Yeah. What's only problem is the queen. Development of the queen. Yeah. Need to weaken a bit more. Yeah. I mean, maybe Paul is thinking about long castling. Because all of his pieces are there. <laughs> long castle, you can go h4, g4. Mm -mm. Maybe. The queen is already ready. f5, okay, finally the queen gets introduced into the game. Queen f7, maybe. Next. Nice setup, huh? Yeah. And his dragon, dark swear bishop, uh, dragon one. We'll go to f6. And... Uh -huh. I'm sure that the, the Grand Prix players will appreciate what is play, yeah. What about okay, okay. on the d4? Okay, so I, I'm, I'm initially thinking pawn to e4, taking more space, but then Paul can start cracking uh, the center with f3 at some point. So maybe what you should just leave it like this queen f7. Mm. Queen f7, d5 is nothing. Huh? Yeah, good okay, so what to do for white? Long castle? Queen is in the way of short castling. You don't want to short castle with that amount of space black has on the king side. So maybe Paul needs to figure things out more. I don't think he needs to find a way to long castle. Ah, f3, so maybe queen f2 and short castle is an idea. There's no clear weaknesses. Yeah. No outpost, nothing, so it's fine. Okay. 
usually we see dragon h4 being a threat or oh, a dangerous idea but yeah the knight on d2 still covering the f3 pawn so dragon h4 check g3 is okay for white can be like a king's indian setup huh? where once it lock d5 e4 f4 mm -hmm. that is your king's indian setup okay dragon h4 <laughs> check anyway maybe what is just trying to probe uh, white into creating some uh, weaknesses, weaknesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. dragon e7 or dragon f6 This looks like a nice rule set. Hmm? King Paul will lock the position. D5 and maybe yeah. E4 later. Lock. And then expand on the queen side. This is a way to put. Okay, so d5s. Uh, way to put the king. Are we gonna castle? Castle king side. Mm -hmm. That king is safe. It can just close up. Maybe the normal idea would be for c5 after d5. Mm -hmm. You know, locking e4 also if you want. No, king should be in position. There we got it. Yeah, so oh, the scariest name, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we have it. Yes, D5 right. on the board. Okay, so what to uh, opting for knight b8? I'm not sure if I like that because knight a6 doesn't mm. seem possible. I, okay, a5 maybe. Pawn. Oh yeah, because b4 can still come, huh? Yeah, there, there it goes. <laughs> Kings in them. And then if you play, normally you would like to play f4, but in this case, then you can lock g4. Yeah. You know that type of King's Indian position on the classical. We have g4, yeah. lock h3, so queen f3 castle, and then all queen side action. No king side play. So Paul is looking forward to that. And uh, mm -hmm. if if what to play something like knight e7 now, then he can capture maybe an f5 and get the e4 square. That's another thing. Yeah. So it's uh, not bad play here by Paul. Yeah. You will you will probably have to play f4. I kind of prefer knight e7 by what instead of knight b8. I agree. I agree. Then he would have had an extra tempo at least to do something else. Mm. Okay, but f4, g4. Um, uh, then, uh, you dragon know. Dragon h4 check. Oh, that is another. That's, I forgot about that. And Sarah's <laughs> name is also saying h5. I was looking at h5, but can't we go g5 then for mm. it? Pawn on g5 could end up being weak, but not immediately clear. And you know what to is a guy. You will find these active active ideas. I've played uh, he's played the King's Indian against me many a times and this guy just he finds the attacking he, that's what he loves for. So mm -hmm. let's see what he's contemplating. He's definitely not gonna choose a dry dry yeah. move here. He's definitely not gonna be pawn takes pawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Knight E seven. Yeah. At the moment, knight E seven. Knight E seven takes on F five. Mm. Still on the e4 square, no? Yeah. Mm. So I'm I'm guessing f4 so yes. anyway. I'm guessing f4 anyway. Because you can't do g4 immediately. Yeah. So but f4. why not? Okay, g4, the dragon check. Because the king is safe. King, in, to king is safe in the center. Mm. But why do you want to do that? Maybe not. That's another question. Because, remember, g4 check, king moves, and then black is going to time h5 at some point. You can go h3. h3. Mm. That's okay. Then it's locked. Yeah, and then, then white you, expands you start, on the queen yeah. side. Just make sure your king is safe somewhere mm. in the center and then you expand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks fine. Mm. What do you call? Is that the classical king's Indian? 
Păi yeah. e de asta pe bruzii să văd și... Mardea o plată. Mardea o plată. Yeah. <laughs> ok, Paul just decides to long call. So I was about to say, I mean, you do have the option of doing nothing. Because uh, it's not like black wants to take on G3, HG, mm. and then there's something in particular. This is very nice. exciting, yeah? Yeah. White exciting could stuff. even play H4. And say, if you take on G3... Oh, check castle long. Yeah, long castle. So mm. Paul is... Um, now it's almost like i don't know what to say now takes on f4 what do you take you know that, the e5 squares black that semi type of positions mm. where you castle long yeah and then you even expand on the queen side yeah, with king c5 B1. and all that king b1 yeah, yeah, yeah. you can still expand it's yeah. very difficult for black to do stuff here. i'm not sure what black should do here actually I'm c6 sure you do. need to play c6 uh -huh. And hit the center, he can't close up, yeah. so. And you don't have the c5 break immediately, mm. do you? Or not? I don't think so. Because uh, d5 is weak. And the dragon on d7 is uh, still covering c5. You need to keep that option open of c6. Mm. So, point to b6, so what is not planning on playing c6? So, I mean, it is possible later, but the structure will be ruined. I but, like uh, uh, white. With the king b1 and expanding on the queen side himself. Yeah, eventually. But white still has, I mean, white can play on both sides actually. Mm. I'm, I'm liking white here. You could even play dragon to a4 and then knight c3 and then the knights mm -hmm. start, uh, use, start using those light yes. squares. But okay, I think Watu wasn't happy with pawn to c5 coming and then you have to play pawn takes. Mm, that is the one, yes. Yeah. Mm. So maybe Watu has a4 in mind here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Paul blocks it. Uh -huh. He's listening to you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Skeras name says f4, g4, h5, or c6 and then b5. Yeah, there, those were some dynamic choices. Um, Maybe what you're seeing something that we're not seeing, maybe some dynamic possibilities for white side. So he castles. I would play something like I don't know, maybe g4 now. Just to lock the king side. Don't give black any play on the air file before mm -hmm. continuing on the queen side. But even if it takes, takes the uh, h file is still open. Yeah. So, so we can just leave yeah, it like leave it, it. Yeah, because it's easier to block mm -hmm. when the two pawns G and H pawns are moving on. It's easier to block. So what what next knight C3 maybe? Uh, yeah, I still think you need to play on the queen side. White need to play on the queen side. Yeah, so knight C3. Black is probably going to go knight A6 now. Knight A6, knight C5. Hmm. Yeah, I must watch out for that knight c5 and a4, a4 idea, no? Knight c5 and a4, yeah. He played Dragon Bishop B5. I don't see what is what is he's trying to do then. Maybe Dragon C2 to A4 next. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe when I change Dragon mm. Bishops and then 
But maybe, yeah, okay, dragon. That can go knight c5, right? B4 is possible. Uh, or is it? I don't know. So knight c5, b4, takes, takes. Knight can't go to a4, can't go to d3. Yeah, I don't know. But maybe dragon takes b5, and then the a4 square is going to become weak. Yeah, knight c5, if b4, you take twice, you take on b4, and you take on b5, mm -hmm. then you can get your knight on a4. Knight, knight c5 is a possibility, I don't think b4 is right yet. No. Okay. What does white play after knight c5? b3? What? What else could what you be thinking about? Knight c5, what else? Instead of knight c5, um, I don't see anything else black can play. Mm. Maybe swap off immediately on b5. That's a move. Okay, knight c5. Okay, okay, but b4 takes takes dragon takes b5. Maybe white can play pawn takes b5. That's that's the issue. Mm. And then white, black can't play knight a4, black, uh, I like b4 here actually. Maybe, uh, maybe you can drop back to, to a6 and then b4 is still weak. Four goes knight a4. So he's willing to, to block up the position. Dragon takes b5. But the C file will still be open. Mm. And uh, this is what Paul does. He, he makes these these decisions, but he doesn't take too much time on them. He's, he's mm -hmm. putting Watto under pressure on the clock. Because if night, uh, it's a bit. And yeah, Paul uses a lot of feeling for his play, and it's and, and mm. it's. Uh, it's a it's a good practical especially uh, with this time control yes. so we should always always just keep an eye on the f file business fghd possibilities um what to drops back to e8 what's the idea putting pressure on b5 oh yeah no, no, no. So he's forcing assisting. white to exchange, uh -huh. and then the other dragon bishop comes. Maybe. You don't want to take on c5 because bc, and then the b5 is open. Mm. I like that move. Mm. So. <coughs> dragon bishop takes dragon bishop. Takes again. I think then black has won the fight for the squares. Mm. But it's difficult even with a G file to, to get through the Yeah. Okay, what's happening here? Can we can't replay oh, dragon going takes for E6 she sacrifice a pawn to okay no. Dragon takes B5 no, first? Let's see. This looks a lot. Dragon takes Pawn okay. takes. Then B takes. Then A4 block. Yeah, try to lock everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scariest name says that uh, because Paul uses a lot of feeling for his play, he should play Braille chess. Okay, interesting one. Seems like Scariest name's got a lot of time on his hands. Eh? <laughs> He's not calculating with us. <laughs> Maybe some blindfold chess as well. It's good for the training. Okay, so um, 
So what to decide to capture back on C5 first? He's giving himself options. Um, I guess Paul can play dragon to... Can he play dragon C2 to A4? I thought of it, but then... Whoa, oh. what happened here? You missed some moves. So it was dragon takes C5... Dragon takes C7. The player takes, seems... And then dragon takes C7. And then queen E7. Dragon takes C7 and queen E7, yeah. So so the pawn was hanging on C7. After B takes. Yeah. That is what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but why did what to move his Two, queen? Four, six, seven. The queen was the queen was not hanging. Queen wasn't hanging. So why queen e seven? Oh the d6 pawn was hanging. Oh okay. So Paul has nipped a pawn over there and he's, he's just dropping back to block the situation. <laughs> now we want to change. That's uh -huh. it. Mm. Okay, so welcome back, Boom Shaka. In the previous game, we saw uh, Craig Willenberg uh, pushing too hard there against Mabusela and eventually losing. So Mabusela's on the scoreboard. They had a, a double rook and knight in game. A very drawish and then, yeah. The, the unexpected happened over there. Someone actually lost. So, um, Mabs is on the scoreboard. Mabusela is on one out of two. Craig is on one out of two. Uh, Paul is blocking up everything here. Yeah? This is a good. This is a very good positional sacrifice. If oh, rook takes, I see. Pawn takes knight c4. Interesting. Very good. C takes b5 and the knight gets to c4. Monster knight. And we've got yes. a monster pass pawn there as well. Okay. Interesting stuff. Yes. So, yeah. Just uh, just updating the scores, guys. Uh, Craig is on one out of two. Mabu is on uh, Mabu Sela is on one out of two. Uh, Watu is on one out of one. He's playing his second game now, and Paul is on zero out of one. That's a good strategy. Game. That knight will become more powerful if rook takes. And the center is very secure, yes. so there's no worries. Mm -hmm. And that a5 can become weak as well once the knight is there and it pile up later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could potentially have two passed pawns on mm -hmm. that side. That's it. And you're not aiming at d6 all time, so. And then Paul, very, no. very ice cold about everything. He's yeah. very relaxed. He knows what he's doing. That's, uh, what to grab the invitation. What to probably play c4 after that. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Because you don't, you will not allow c4 for that knight. Yeah. He will sacrifice it. Just to open up some lines. And then also the diagonal, a7, g1 diagonal. Yeah. Um, yeah. He will play C5. I think C4. He, has to, he has to do something. He yeah. will sacrifice it because it's it's good because the line is open. He can't take because the line is open to the king and the dragon bishop is in front of the king also. Knight can't even move after that. Uh, uh, and he and can play B3. B3, B3 yeah. Yes, he can play B3. B3. Then we need to get the dragon bishop on C5 mm. or something. For black, uh, but you, you will have to play probably. It's a practical decision over there. Boomshaka, yeah. by the way, says seems the new players are giving the old players a tough time. Yeah, the new players are uh, are handling uh, the dragon bishops quite well. Paul displaying uh, an exchange sacrifice or an offer of an exchange in this game. Now he's gonna lock. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, knight c4. So, what do what else does black have besides c4? I don't know. But even knight takes, like I said, and then b3 again. Yeah, and then b3. Unless you... You will have to check that rook. Rook c8, oh my. I don't think so. Mighty that doesn't coming. make sense. Yeah, but uh, Brapella is back in the chat. Yeah, he says, I feel sorry for the knight on g6. The knight on g6 is very sad, yeah. Um... Yeah, rook c8, I don't know what to, maybe thinking that it's it's not worth it to give up the pawn. Knight c4 is coming though. Not sure why Paul is uh, thinking on this one. Yeah, of course, knight c4 even. Dragon e1 is a5, also coming out. Oh, or queen that e1. That pawn's all just move nicely. Yeah. He has a dream position. Most. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, yeah, yeah, this this is really dream a dream position. position yeah. For white. There's a stranglers. No tactics of the dragon bishops. 
position is too close. That is what the uh, scariest name was asking. Yeah. That's how you refute the dragon bishop. So you got it. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Paul is making sure, huh? Yeah, Paul. I don't know what could he consider here instead of knight c4. Because, yeah. What to consider? I don't see anything else. I mean, c4. Black is playing c4 next. If if he doesn't play knight c4 mm. himself. It's a very curious time to be thinking about here. Yeah. Okay, but he has built up some extra time, so... Wow! Why do you want to do that? Why? A5 is hanging. But I mean... But why not first why, do the... Why giving that C6 possible, C4 possibility? Yeah. Opening lines for the dragon to come in. Or maybe the queen will go to the queen side, a7 and all that, you know. So knight. And you have a pass pawn also, um, going b6, b7. Okay, but any any situation, I could not see the knight not going to c4 eventually. Yes. So you should have played it first. Yeah, but um, it can it can go there not now. It can it can go there now. But you see the danger now for Watu is even after knight takes c4, white plays king b1 and white can maybe take over the c file. Hmm. That's why, <laughs> so, and, and like I said, the queen is now ready for yeah. h7, wow. supporting the pass pawn. Huh? Wow, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this so, is a desperate move by what you only practical. But it looks, it looks good, you know, like you need to open lines, no blockade, but so. And hey guys, if Paul, if Paul manages to win this game, then the whole field will be a level again. Shit. That will be with uh, two more matches to come, everything to play for. But okay, mm -hmm. let's first see what happens here. <coughs> uh, again, I'm not sure what Paul is thinking about here. That's what curious way he's thinking. Maybe the, the, the moment is getting to him rather than anything else because mm. I mean it's clear that he's 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 doing great. He's uh okay, but it's not so I mean he's still a dragon bishop down. He's he's technically in an exchange down. I forgot this. <laughs> yeah, I forgot completely about that. Mm. So what you still has the two dragon bishops. But surely, I mean if once he gets a rook on the open file. Knight takes pawn, king b1, rook c1, queen a7, or something, queen f2 even just. So okay, here we go, this is, now it's dragon bishop's time. Dragon g5 is a possibility. Okay, but hg, dragon g5, check, king, uh, dragon d, ah, uh, the dragon on d2, b3 must not cover. Very smart move, huh? Mm. So he's saying, okay, you can get your king side play. I'm going to try to win on the queen side. But this is what I was talking about earlier in the game. Mm -hmm. You always watch out for that FG. It's always there. Mm -hmm. And what two can now take on H2 and secure the F4 square for a knight? And then knight on G6 isn't sad anymore. Let me try. He could yeah. even play G2. Don't open up the H file for white. Yes. Play G2. I agree. When the tempo, Queen G2, and knight F4. F4. That's good. I believe that one will be a bit tense. That's a better option. He will do that. Scary's name also seems to think G2, yes. This is nice. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, G2 on the board. But where is Black going to win this game if he has ideas of winning? I don't know. Because he's still not... His queen side is still collapsing. Be yeah. His dragon bishops are not in on the king side yet. And he threatened... Um, there's an immediate... Okay, no. Queen g2, how about dragon h4? Yeah. Hitting f3. 
and just getting all pieces. I think you will look at that, yes. Because in, yeah. Dragon Age 4 or Knight F4? Because I feel like the Knight looks good on A4, but what then now after yeah. Knight F4? I think that, that move is fine. Because you need to stay there, you know? And, but the Knight on C4 is poised for C6. Knight A5 and, and Knight C6. Okay, Knight H4 instead. So what is going to uh, target that F3 pawn? Maybe Dragon G5 next. Queen F2. That is threatening Knight B6. Uh, in interesting idea there by Skira's name. If Dragon H4, what you could have played H3 to block it. Hmm. And then also Knight B6 is threatened. Knight B6, ah, okay. Okay, fight mm -hmm. immediately. Now you have the C6 square as well. You can take Knight X pawn and then Knight C6. Is it? Yeah. But you know, first need to take here because yeah, Dragon G5 is What threatened. is going to completely ignore the queen side from now on? Yeah. He's just playing on the king side. It's actually nice now. The one is castle queen side. You play on the queen side. Castle king side, <laughs> play on the king side. on the king side. <laughs> <laughs> it's typical semis positions. Mm. King's Indian semis. Can white take on a4? Yes, white um, is just uh, trying to solve or stop the, the initiative on the king side. So, I mean, I think something like dragon takes e4 check is a threat here. Knight takes a5, dragon takes e4 check. Queen is hanging on f2. You're right. Yes. Dragon G4, Brapella says, also an idea. Most of them, but... Um, that so... Queen must move. What about Queen A7 now? Queen A7? Yes, like it is like takes everything will collapse. Okay, oh, so yeah, here yeah, comes a blunder, I might... Okay, Rook G1, Dragon takes E4 check. And what to go for it? And it's a it's a double attack, guys. It's checking the king and the queen is hanging. So it seems like Paul is gonna have to give up another exchange. Take take the dragon, rook f2. And then what? That point was wrong on the queen side. That's the only yeah. challenge. Take the dragon, rook takes f2, knight a5, maybe, mm -hmm. and to start pushing. Okay, so he gets this and Paul is under pressure, he's down on the clock. What? Let's take stock of what's happening here. Uh, if you count the position, Paul is down a rook for a queen, basically. <laughs> Paul is down a rook for a queen. That was knight f3 and knight d4. d4. Dragon bishop on d7 is still covering the b8 queening square as well. Mm -hmm. So what to finding amazing play here from a position we never thought could provide anything. But the start of it came with the fg idea. I guess we couldn't refute the dragon. So. Sure. So <laughs> dragon tactics prevailing here. Mm -hmm. The same with the game with Ben and... And Kenny yesterday. Position yeah. was close and then all of a sudden Eventually. open. Knight f3, knight d4 also coming, rook on g1 Zengi. Maybe just uh, rook f1 here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's better. Yeah. Okay. Because the dragon bishop will take the pawn and then it can move to to b7 and it can go to c6 covering that b8 square. You see? Rook takes a rook. Rook takes a rook. Knight, Knight d4. d4. Dragon takes a5. Rook takes a, and then b7 and 
Dragon Bishop C6. Still looks a bit uh, unlikely, but it's probably his best bet. Mushaka says they should have black should have looked at or white should have looked at some queen a7 at some point. Uh, that was an idea. Mm. Queen h4. Hmm. Queen e4 is uh is there. Mm. Rook takes a rook, huh? Rook probably just queen takes. Mm -hmm. There is a threat. I don't see a threat. Um, D6 here, his name says D6. Yeah, the pawn on D6 is also hanging. Okay. Mm, that's okay. covering E4. Yeah. Dragon Bishop takes B6. Ooh. You see you giving up your phone like that? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't look right. Hmm. Okay, he takes. Mm, it's over now. Can't see much. I mean, knight f5 would have been nice if you could get him d6 check and so on, but it's queen e4 check. He didn't play it. It's hesitating slightly, yeah. Oh, I see. There's a d6 check move, huh? Possibility yeah. knight f5 and then d6 check. Knight f5, queen e4 check. Oh, I see, I see. I said one. Okay, queen e4 check. Is that just over? Everything collapses. The knight drops as well. The rook on f2 is covered. Yeah, I think it should be over now. Mm -hmm. King f, king a2. Queen takes d6 check. The pawn can run maybe. D7 and then. Mm -hmm. Dragon must maybe block on D8. It's pawn not giving up yet. Ah, because you can take the rook on F2 and distract the dragon mm. and then push check and push again. Mm. But then Queen D8, and I mean, you have one dragon. Ooh. Dragon F7, yeah, yeah, there's, there's something, yeah. What do you need to be careful? But uh, if it goes to H8 to G, G, G pawn is in. There's no check. Hmm. Okay, so what does black play? Rook takes rook first? I will play a rook takes rook, and then check. Mm. Is it, rook do I rook know check. what you must play first? Huh? Okay, queen takes knight. No, no, I, I, I would play a rook takes rook first. Oh, for what? Yeah, okay. because if yes. you check, then you go dragon c4 yes. Yes. and block the check. Mm -hmm. And then it should be over. Because if you first go queen takes knight d6 check, king has to go to f8, right? And then you take the rook and then you push. Okay. Watch it, watch it. If pawn here, d6 check, uh, knight takes knight e7 check. No, that will not help anything. No. Whoa! Why do you play something completely different? Oh, he's thinking about Dragon A4, guys. His rook is hanging on, on F2 if he does that. Mm -hmm. Still one last moment. This is the last 
crucial moment. I I would play rook takes f1. Yeah, rook takes f1 is the move. D6 check, dragon to c4 blocks, and you eliminate all the heavy pieces basically. Hmm. Bridge. After root takes F1, you don't even have to play. Oh, maybe you have to. No, after, after root takes F1, you can even play dragon takes D5. Mm. And then white is running out of steam. Okay, check first. Check dragon C4. Dragon C4. Mm. As the boy, uh, sure. so I think the main problem for for Paul was when when he. He didn't uh, play knight c4. The, the rook on c8 was hitting the knight on c4. So mm. with the dragon g5 check after fg, white could have blocked with dragon d2 and covered the f3 pawn as well. Mm -hmm. then. But because the dragon had to protect the to knight on c4, knight there was mm -hmm. issues. So um, that's going to be a, a point that Paul will look back at. Like, uh, could, have, could have just played knight c4 automatically. Uh, what was played here? Knight g3 was played and then rook takes d1. Knight takes queen, dragon takes d5 and it's over. Yeah, so it's over. Uh, Boomshaka says if dragon c4 then can't be, uh, can't he just push e7? D7, so check and then dragon C4 and then check and then push again. That would have been an idea, but I guess you can take on B3 with check and then the king is to open. I think it's this is over now. What are you giving us? I will leave there. Okay, and the game is paused. And it's over, guys. Let's get the players back on. Uh, players, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, we're just waiting for Paul to unmute over there. Did I unmute? No, you. We can hear you. Uh, what to Paul? Can you hear us? Hi, Paul. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. Up and down game. Another mm. up and down game. Uh, tough one, Paul. Very maybe, difficult. Maybe, can I just yeah. ask? Can I just ask you, Paul? First of all. Um, do you think that maybe it wasn't? Uh, do you think that it was maybe a better uh, choice to just plant the knight on c4 immediately, um, instead of instead playing, of instead of playing dragon b3 and allowing what to, to sack the pawn on c4? Maybe just play knight That's c4 okay, block. I don't think the no, sack no, no. was. I think maybe I could have gone uh, dragon to c3 instead of giving up the rook. That instead was just maybe not necessary. No, I, think, I like. What I think you did. look. I mean, Paul is better here. In this yeah. position, but but knight c4, but I will take on g3 and Dragon play g3. dragon g5. And then there's, yeah, then there's, that was the there's, there's, there's the dragon, dragon d2, g5. dragon d2 to block, and then he's covering oh, f3, that. and then he's covering f3 and blocking the check. But in my the, dragon, oh, on, I think my oh, dragon's oh, c 2 at the time. I think the move I made was dragon oh, d3. Oh, I see you were trying so to. So when my dragon's on c2, I don't have dragon d3. Oh, I, I think knight c4 is possible, but what I was uh, afraid no, of I didn't think was that you just grab it some there's one point where you could just take on a5 with the dragon 
just Dragon Tech A5. Okay. And I was just, I thought, yeah. look, I'll play Rook A8, but I'm playing for tricks now. And I, I just, but it's yeah, a very I, difficult position. I just don't have space. I yeah. can't remember what my plan was. Ugh, I just don't have space. Wow, crazy game. Yeah. Very difficult without space. And I mean, I was, that was the idea of yeah. after I went F3, it was just to, you know, all your pieces on the king side are kind of space. I thought you were going to swap off the, the dragons, maybe, like take on A4 and then move your other dragon to. But to it doesn't seven. help me. You take and still play knight B5. I'm still uh, in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe and, practically I should do this, but, 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 I, but I just felt like, yeah. you know, I felt like I'm West. If I swap the dragons, it becomes just, just a becomes chess game where you're just grinding. Yeah, yeah. So place. better I keep the two bishops, the two dragons, worse, but uh, you know it creates some some chances somewhere. Yeah. I'm trying to think where the turning point was. Was it maybe allowing you to take on g3? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. In fact, we can we can quickly go to that position. I've already saved the game. Um, it is by move twenty three, I think. Um, just go back here. It's okay, guys. I'll, I'll handle it. Maybe I should have also pushed the b-bomb quicker. Just like once things start on the king's side. No, I think I think you wanted it to be to give me absolutely nothing. You have to give me something, but you just have to have a lot. Yeah, I was trying to kind of be. Oh, that's yeah. a question. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me absolutely nothing. Yeah. So, so what yeah, you like? You played the rook c8 here, yeah. and then Paul, you played dragon b3. Yes. Yeah, I can't go. Exactly. So rook c8 is like a little trap. If he goes knight c4, I take on g3 and then dragon g5. Yeah. Okay, Check. okay. And then take on f3 and, and dragon g4, things like this. Okay, I see. But um, he plays it He plays it nicely. He plays play now um, dragon b3, right, Paul? Yes. Yeah, yeah, dragon, dragon to b3, b3 was played. So this is very strong. Basically, he's threatening my pawn on a5. Yes, and then you and c4. Well, I have yeah. To, but yeah. Do you think I, I should take a5 here? Yeah. Yes. I was just, scared of c3. You take with the pawn. Take with the pawn. So instead and of if I go, takes, takes take the... rook a8. Oh, rook a8, you go dragon c3. Yeah. Dragon c3. Aha. And you're holding everything. I together. think. Look, I'm going to try for tricks, but I think objectively I'm just past. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe that, that's yeah. it over there. Okay. I saw this, but I, yeah, I just, I don't know. Okay. I'm Knight trying to c4 was just more dead. No, I'm just trying to create more tricks. Like, you know, you don't want to yeah. give me C4 and everything. And, yeah, yeah. But you have to give me something and just hold up the, the position after that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tough, tough game. It's a good game, game though. Good well, game. Yeah, very interesting game. Very. And um, uh, yeah, what do comes out fighting again, guys? And what do you want two out of two right now? Eh? Don't jinx it for now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you want two out of two. Paul is here to get on the scoreboard. Tough games for him. And yeah. um, the other two players are on one out of two each. So interesting games to come, guys. Two more matches left for the day. Two players qualify. Uh, Watu is in the lead. Um, yeah, we, we're going to calculate some technicalities, but it seems like Watu has got half, uh, one foot already into the qualification zone. I think yesterday, Henry, when he got, was on two out of two, he already qualified. Mm. So, so looking good for Watu. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we're going to take a, a break, guys, and we will see you shortly with the last two matches coming up soon. Okay, Thank thanks, you. guys. Okay. Cheers, cheers. Cheers.